Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And today, I would like to do a prayer of healing, a new prayer of healing, because there are people that are struggling with healing, and they are in need of it desperately. And I'm going to pray as I stand in agreement with you and your loved ones, because the prayer of agreement has power, precious saints. Now, the Bible says, according to Mark 11, verse 22 to 25, and Jesus answered them, have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you and your trespasses. So Heavenly Father, I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, even as we come before you with a humble heart, seeking your divine intervention and healing power. You are the ultimate source of life and health. And we trust in your infinite love, in your infinite mercy. Precious Father, we thank you as we are praying today for your enduring love that you came into the world, Jesus, to set us free from the power of darkness because by your stripes we are healed. You embraced a violent death on the cross to pay the penalty on our behalf. You suffered the scourging at the pillar, taking the sickness of humanity upon your own flesh so that we could be healed and the By your stripes, we are healed today. Lord, we come before you right now as we place our sins upon your cross and ask for your precious blood to wash us clean, wash our minds, wash our hands, wash our bodies, wash our souls, wash our spirit today with the blood of Jesus Christ. We place the penalty of our sinfulness, all of our sickness, disease and infirmities today upon your cross for the sake of your sorrowful passion you did it all for us and we ask to be set free today we accept your sacrifice and receive your gift of reconciliation we confess your lordship over every aspect of our life our heart our mind our body our soul and our spirit Through the power of your cross, Lord Jesus, we now resist all forms of sickness, sicknesses and disease and sin. And we say to all forms of sickness and disease caused by our own disobedience that you are not God's good and perfect will for our life. And we enforce the power of of the cross of Jesus right now upon every sickness and disease right now in Jesus' mighty name. By the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we command all forms of sickness disease to leave our presence immediately leave our body go back to the pit of hell right now in jesus mighty name because jesus bore our infirmities and he was wounded for our transgressions and by his stripes we have been healed no sickness no pain no death no fear or addiction shall ever be able to overcome us in Jesus' mighty name. We bow in worship and praise before you. We plead the blood of Jesus over our entire physical body, on our entire soul and our entire spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ against any demons that may attempt to come against any person listening right now in Jesus' mighty name. We plead the blood of Jesus against any human agents that may also be trying to gum against anybody listening right now in Jesus' mighty name. We plead the blood of Jesus against 
any natural accidents or catastrophes that may come against us, we plead the blood of Jesus against any diseases, illnesses and sickness that could possibly also come against us in the future. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have full faith and belief that the blood of Jesus will always protect us. Father, we surrender ourselves completely and unreservedly in every area of our life over to you today and we gladly put ourselves into your hands into your perfect will let your will find us always in jesus mighty name we take a stand against all the workings of satan that would hinder us in our prayer life satan in the name of our lord jesus christ we command you to leave our presence with all your demons we bring the blood of our lord jesus christ between us and against you and we address ourselves only to the true and living god and refuse any involvement with satan or any of his demons right now in jesus mighty name father in the name of jesus christ we take authority over every principality over every demonic spirit and every spiritual wickedness in high places in the name of jesus christ we bind the spirit of fear anxiety depression oppression weariness doubt stress bitterness jealousy unforgiveness failure and poverty and cast them out of our life in the name of jesus christ we loose the fruits of the spirit and prosperity in our life because the blood of jesus christ is covering us satan has no power over our lives or anything that pertains to us therefore in the name of jesus christ satan is rendered helpless powerless and ineffective against our lives from this day forth in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, we attend to your word. We incline our ears to your sayings, Lord, that we will not let them depart from our eyes and we will keep them in the midst of our hearts for they are life and healing to our flesh and our bodies. As you were with Moses, so are you with us. Our eyes eyes are not dim, neither in our natural vigor diminished. Blessed are our eyes, for they see and they hear, for they hear clearly. Yes, they will hear. No evil will befall us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling, for you have given angels charge over us, lest they keep us always in your ways in the name of jesus christ lord jesus please forgive us for any spiritual blocks to our healing lord through unforgiveness ignorance or even lack of knowledge or even a lack of relationship with god according to knowledge personal any type of personal sins or family sins anything that is on the generational line or even not having faith in you to see our miracle to see signs and wonders lord that our believing and expecting god to heal on our terms and not your terms well we've looked to man rather than god where we've not been honest or transparent oh lord any sins or habitual sins lord anything that we've been robbing you of any sin on our parents or any symptoms that are causing us to be in failure or setbacks anything that is stopping us any improper care of our body or not discerning the lord's body or touching god's anointed leaders lord anything anything from an unpure heart anything that has caused us to neglect our health or come against your people or what you are doing anything that has brought a curse upon us we repent today in the name of jesus christ lord we now also forgive our ancestors our descendants and anyone else that has sinned against us to curse us with weaknesses sickness disease illness injury and trauma please forgive us for all of our sins that would open us up to any type of attack and we forgive ourselves even for our own mistakes. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We now command 
the evil spirits and their families to leave us that came in through any spiritual blocks to our healings. We also command every single one of sicknesses because we are healed by your stripes, Jesus. Jesus carried our sicknesses and infirmities and we cast out all spirits of infirmity that would attack our body in the name of Jesus Christ. We break and rebuke and cast out any spirit of cancer that would attempt to establish itself either in someone's lungs, bones, breast, throat, back, spine, liver, kidneys, pancreas, skin, or stomach in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke and cast out all spirits causing diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, leukemia, blood disease, breathing problems, arthritis, lupus, Alzheimer's, or insomnia in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak healing and speak to our bones, muscles, joints, organs, head, eyes, throat, glands, blood, marrow, lungs, kidneys, liver, spleen, spine, pancreas, eyes and bladder and ears and nose and sinuses and mouth and tongue and our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all heart attacks rooted in fear and we command all spirits of fear to leave us in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we loose ourselves from all diabetes that has been rooted in rejection, self-hatred, anything that has been come down on the inheritance line or guilt, we command these spirits to come out of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all cancer that's been rooted in bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, and slander uh, slander of the tongue, and we command these spirits to come out of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from lupus rooted in self-rejection, self-hatred, and guilt, and cast these spirits out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all multiple, any type of sclerosis rooted in self hatred, guilt, and rejection from the Father, and we cast these spirits out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from thyroid issues or any type of arthritis issues that is rooted in self-hatred and low esteem, and we command these spirits to come out of us in Jesus' mighty name. We loose ourselves from high cholesterol that is rooted in anger and any type of hostility, and we command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all sinus issues and problems rooted in fear and anxiety and command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all high blood pressure rooted in fear and anxiety and we command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from any type of asthma that is rooted in fear, Lord, that is rooted in a broken spirit or broken heart, and we command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all strokes rooted in self-rejection, self-bitterness, self-hatred, and we command these spirits to come out out in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all bone diseases rooted in envy and jealousy, and we command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, forgive us, Lord, for allowing any fear, guilt, self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, any oaths that have been spoken to the occult or secret societies, forgive us. Lord, forgive us of sin, pride, and rebellion to open the door to any sickness or infirmity. We renounce these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into our life through pride in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into our life through trauma or 
accidents in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into our life through rejection in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into our life through witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you would give us a sound heart, which is the life of of Lord that is life in you remove anything from our heart that is evil or sinful even in our attitude Lord remove any darts also from our liver in Jesus mighty name heal and deliver us from all pains in the name of Jesus Christ we rebuke any sickness that would come to eat up our flesh including cancer in the name of Jesus Christ let no disease cleave to our body we break all curses of sickness and disease and command all hereditary spirits of sickness to come out of our bodies in Jesus mighty name we break all curses of premature death and destruction in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus under the power and the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ we command all forms of demonic illness to leave our body now and go straight to the feet of Jesus Christ right now for judgment as you go back to the pit of hell in Jesus mighty name your assignment and influence are over we rebuke all pain in the name of Jesus Christ we command it to get out of our bodies right now we rebuke all spirits of infirmity nerve disorder lung disorder brain disorder heart disease AIDS any sexual transmitted diseases cancer anything to do with fatigue anorexia leukemia arthritis and any type of tumors any abnormal growths anything to do with diabetes and all other forms of sickness and disease to leave our body now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord Jesus we thank you for your healing power and we ask you to send forth your ministering angels right now your medical and surgical angels to repair and to restore any damage that was caused to our body by the presence of sin, sickness or demonic influence infirmities we ask that you would send forth your Holy Spirit and fill us with your love, light, peace and joy come Holy Spirit and transform each one of us right now in the name of Jesus Christ you are the God of creative miracles the God of all creation you who spoke a simple command and brought forth life from darkness we call upon you now to send forth your miracle working power into every aspect of our lives and our being right now in Jesus mighty name in the same way that you spoke unto the dust of the ground when you created mankind in your own image we ask you to send forth your healing power into our bodies send forth your word and command every cell every electrical and chemical impulse tissue joint ligament organ gland muscle bone and every molecule in our body to come under the complete and perfect health strength alignment balance and harmony back into the perfect design of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ it is through you that we live and more and have our being with every breath we take we live under your life-giving grace we ask you to touch us now with the same miracle working power that you use when you fashion us into our mother's womb as surely as you have created us in your image and likeness you can also recreate us now and restore our health in the name of Jesus Christ please fill us with your healing power and cast out all that should not be on the inside of us and we ask you to mend all that is broken root every sickness and disease open all blocked arteries veins and restore our internal organs rebuild our damaged 
tissues on our muscles and every part of our body, remove all inflammation and cleanse us from all infections, diseases, viruses and any destructive forms of bacteria in Jesus' mighty name. Let the warmth of your healing love flood our entire being so that our body will function the way that it is created to be, whole and complete, renewed in your perfect help. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, today, healing and health is our portion. Jesus took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Therefore, we refuse to allow sickness to dominate our body. The life of God flows with in us, bringing health into every fiber of our being. We are redeemed from the curse because Christ became a curse for us. As your word says, cursed is anyone who hangs upon a tree. The blood of Jesus covers and protects us. It flows to every cell of our body, restoring life and health. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and we pray for a release right now. The right chemicals, the right hormones, our body is in perfect chemical balance. Our pancreas secretes the proper amount of insulin within our lives and health. Every cancer, Lord, any cancer that is operating and abnormal cells is uprooted from our bodies now and replace ourselves perfectly by your Holy Spirit, removing, I pray for a clean bill of health for each and every person on their next checkup. I believe that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. So today, we lift up all those that are suffering with various diseases and illnesses. Lord, you know each person by name and the burdens they carry. And we ask you to pour out your healing grace upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every form of sickness, disease and infirmity and we declare your victory over all ailments both known and unknown by the power of the holy spirit we command every tissue every cell every organ in their bodies to align with the perfect design and function in harmony in jesus mighty name lord we pray for physical healing knowing that you are the great physician touch each part of their bodies that needs restoration and renewal heal their wounds mend their brokenness and restore them to complete health we also pray for emotional and mental healing knowing that diseases can affect more than just the physical body bring peace to their minds comfort to their hearts and strength to their spirits remove anxiety depression and any other emotional burdens that weigh them down remove the fear that's coming to them as a trauma also in Jesus mighty name Lord we lift up the families and loved ones also of those who are sick grant them strength patience and also unwavering faith as they support their loved ones through this challenging time surround them with love with faith and give them the reassurance that you are still in control father we pray even for healthcare professions who tirelessly care for the sick give them the wisdom the skill and the compassion as they treat their patients with love and patience oh bless their hands and guide their decisions protect them from burnout and fill them with your peace let them know that god is the true miracle maker and he still heals today in the name of jesus christ we recognize that you are more than worthy to receive all glory and honor and praise and we renew our allegiance and our vows to you jesus we thank you that you have blessed us with the holy spirit who will guide and direct us in our our time of prayer we thank you Jesus that you have made us complete and that you have offered yourself to us Lord as our daily help and our strength and that we are thankful for the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ who won it 
on the cross of Calvary and his resurrection had the power to defeat death. Therefore, we rebuke that spirit of death today in the name of Jesus Christ. For we shall live and not die and declare the good works of the Lord. I pray today we recognize by faith that all wicked spirits and Satan himself are under our feet. And we declare, therefore, that Satan and his wicked spirits are subject to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today that we are thankful for the full armor of God that you have provided as we put on this full armor of God right now. Lord, I thank you that we also put on the girdle of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the sandals of peace, the helmet of salvation. We lift up the shield of faith against all the fiery darts of the enemy and we take on, Lord, our sword, the sword of the Spirit that comes forth from our mouth as we speak, which is the Word of God. And we choose to use your Word against all the forces of the enemy within our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, that the Lord Jesus Christ spoiled all principalities and powers and made a show of them openly and triumph over them in himself just for us and we claim all that victory for our life this day we reject all things all accusations all insinuations and every temptation of satan today in jesus mighty name we affirm that the word of god is true and we choose to live this day in the light of god's word we choose heavenly father to live in obedience to you and in fellowship with you open our eyes and show us the areas of our life that are not pleasing to you help us to be in sync with you. We thank you that you would cleanse all ground that would give Satan a foothold against us in every way as we stand firm under the ministry of the Holy Spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. By faith and in dependence upon you, we put off the fleshly works of the old man and we stand in all the victory of the crucifixion that Jesus provided by cleansing us from the old nature we put on the new man and stand all in victory in the resurrection and the provision he made for us above sin father we pray today that you dwell in our heart by faith that you will keep us rooted and grounded in your love for father in your love there is no fear because your love is perfect and it casts out all fear we thank you lord that you have not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power love and of a sound mind. I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today that we have the victory. We have the victory over the enemy. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds to the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and to bring every thought captive into the obedience of our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Therefore, in our own life, the name of Jesus tears down every stronghold of Satan that binds the enemy's plans that have been formed and fashioned against us and cast them out of our life right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind every stronghold of Satan against our mind and we surrender our minds to you, Lord, and we have the mind of Christ today. We affirm heaven. Heavenly Father, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. Father, we thank you that we bind every stronghold of Satan formed against our will, and we surrender our will to you, Father, and choose to make the right decisions of faith for our life this day for led by the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind every stronghold of Satan formed against our body and we surrender our body to you, recognizing that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit and the kingdom of God. And we now rejoice in the knowing that the blood of Jesus Christ 
covers us always and every day in Jesus mighty name we pray right now father we thank you for your anointing that is upon us and in us and therefore we boldly confess that we shall live and not die and that we will live to do the works of our father to heal the brokenhearted to preach the gospel to the poor to preach deliverance to the captives to recover of sight to those who are blind and we will live to set out liberty for them that are bruised and to tell the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and we will live Lord to shout and claim the victory of the cross over all satanic forces happening around us in the name of Jesus Christ we declare today we thank you for hearing our prayers we thank you Jesus for interceding for us and taking our prayers before your father we thank you for giving us the victory each and every day we lift up the name of Jesus and we give you all the glory the entire honor and all praise and we thank you now Lord for our deliverance for our healing for our creative miracle for our signs and wonders to take place as we shout a victory right now in the name of Jesus Christ for this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it we say glory hallelujah in your name you are worthy to be praise we speak forth and declare and prophesy these things forth into our life in the name of Jesus Christ we declare today we shall never be the same I pray that you will touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet bring healing and wholeness and deliverance to each person I declare today that every blood oath every word oath that has been spoken on their generational lines is broken and cut today in the name of Jesus Christ everything going back to their to their forefathers that they had done certain oaths that were demonic I declare today that they are free from those oaths you would deliver them heal them set them free and come and fill them with the top of their head to the soles of their feet with a fresh anointing baptize them in spirit and fire come and touch your people surround them and fill them in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from Perth, Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer, I encourage you, listen to it as many times as you need to. Send it to a friend. Send it to a loved one, especially someone that may be sick at this particular time. God will heal that person. Let me tell you, God will heal that person. He says, if you believe what you pray and actually believe that you've received it, it shall be done. I believe it. I know people are going to be healed. I know people are going to be delivered. So share it far and wide. Precious Saints, if you've liked this, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. While you're there, scroll down. Go to our website and just go down to the bottom and just put your email address in there to make sure that you are connected and receiving our fasting blogs. Now, I've already done the fasting for this up and coming August and September and I'm also on to the 10 day uh, days of awe that will be in October this year because that's when the feast comes in the month of October so I'm also doing that one so we're going to have three fasts already ready and rolling to go because I will be in Africa precious saints I am coming to Kenya if you are in Kenya make sure you attend our meetings precious saints next weekend this coming weekend is uh, my weekend with my family the following weekend we have the four day fasting which I'm going to the prayer mountain and also straight after that I'm heading straight to Kenya precious saints straight to Kenya we are going to Kenya because God is about to move there so I would encourage you to make sure that you come there to the meetings at uh, the Western Western Hotel there in Nairobi precious saints come these meetings are free 
we are coming with a purpose and that is to contend for revival contend meaning believe god this is the hour and it says in the word of god in zechariah 10 verse 1 it says in a time of latter rain call upon the rain we are calling upon the rain to come that god would spark it in kenya then i will be in zambia then i'll be in mozambique then i'll be in south africa then i'll be in namibia and so forth so precious saints get ready it is time to connect. We have the fastings. We have everything available for you. Get connected. Desire revival because it is coming, precious saints. It is coming very soon. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.